it's Tanner Bell, and on today's DIY video, me and my friend Joseph have a DIY for you all. Uh, we're actually at his house and in his building today, so what we're going to be showing you is this DIY project you've seen all over Pinterest, all over the internet. Joseph found it, and we thought it would be really cool. We're going to start it. Okay, today we're going to be building a fire pit or a real thing out of a can, and what you'll need is foremost the can, then you'll need a pair of industrial cutters. Don't get the little tiny thin ones like this. These will not work. You need to get these because the top of the can is tough. Old knife, you don't care to beat with a hammer because you're going to be beating it to move the thing down. And then a hammer to use the knife. You'll need charcoal to use as the heat source to cook the hot dogs or hamburgers, whatever you're going to put on top of them. And then a little rake thing. Um, I got this off of a old grill, the eye, like on the stove, like on the grill. I got it off of it. And so let's go ahead and get started. So what do you do? You take your cutters and go very top of the can. Just don't put the cutters all the way down like that. You want to barely have them on there just enough to pierce the top of the can and just squeeze. See, it makes a little pierce like that. And then you'll take your thing, your knife, put it in the can like that. Make sure it's straight because you don't want it to cut sideways or it won't do it correctly. Then you just take this, this. down I go to just the notch so then you just do that all the way around and so as you go through here you just want to fold this down just like that and another thing when you're using the knife and the hammer don't hit your finger <laughs> just po point that out okay so I finished cutting all the little things out and here's the finished product and now I mentioned above you will need some aluminum foil you just want to take a little in the pool, just get some out. Just a sheet, just enough to cover the thing wrap around the circle. It should be good. If you need more, you can just cut it off and shove it on there. So just take this and then just, I would recommend shoving, shoving it around a little hole so you have somewhere to put your charcoal. And then just Wrap it around your face. And you want to like, see how it's like jacked up? You want to like bend the things to make it sort of even on the sides. Just bend them and then there you have that. So now put your open your charcoal. Just put enough in there at the bottom and just enough to roast you whatever you want to cook. Take your grate, sit it on top of there like that. Then you apply that and you can cook with it. Okay, so I'm out here on my back porch, got the table here. Have uh, the grill with charcoal in it, lighter. Um, recommended you put lighter foot on here, but I don't have any. I just have kerosene. If I put that, it would poison you, so let's not use that today. So I've thrown <laughs> some leaves in here. I've sort of crumpled them up and put them just random places in here, like on the bottom and, and within charcoal and stuff. You know, he's got him a little fire going, too. Probably bigger. But he's, this is the secret. This is the secret, guys. Whatever this is. Chocolate. <laughs> just kidding. It's, it's actually, um, that stuff I'm using, it's, it's actually like um, starter logs that you're used for for like camping you can buy them at Cabela's that's where I got that one okay so we had no hot dogs and I got the thing going just had to use some of the stuff you saw in the 
before. I'm just, don't judge, I don't have sticks. I'm just gonna grill them. <laughs> See how it goes. Yeah, rotate them. Yeah, keep them rotated. <laughs> <laughs> this is not your best plan. No. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Pretty good too. So I would have had some Hershey Kisses to put on them, but someone ate them all. <laughs> Wonder who? I don't know. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs>